Look at that. How, how long have they been in the ground? Uh, they've been in the ground probably, oh, well, I, oh no, I can't tell you. Um, what, two months? More? No, probably three. Three, three months. months. Yeah. Three months. So, what's, so we're in August now. I yeah. planted in March. G'day, folks. How you going? We're talking to Craig here. We're in the veggie garden, and he's just showed me a photo of his broad beans, three months old. Mine were planted in March, April, May, June, July, August. Six months. Yeah. Six months for them to get to that yeah, stage. Yeah. And basically what we're talking about here is why is my garden so slow in, in ripening? So I'm not getting any heads on my uh, cauliflower. ca cauliflowers, yeah. on my cabbages, my broccoli. I've got one of the broccolinis or sprouting mm. ones, only ha mm. producing everything else is slow. Yeah, but and it's got nothing to do with the soil. I mean, as no, far as what I've put into it, because it's not the soil. We did some bricks tests this yeah. afternoon. Yeah. And the bricks is great. Yeah. I mean, eight yeah. on an overcast day yeah, is good. Mate. Yeah. So on it's, a, on a hot great. day when it's the solar panels are working. But the problem is soil temperature. Well, let me just have a so, quick look. 10 degrees. It's on 10. So that's the little dial there. You can't see yeah, the other yeah, one. Yeah. It's actually probably wrong because I reckon you, you did a test earlier. You said a 50 degree, at 50 degree Fahrenheit, was 10 degrees 10 C. 10 degrees C. Yeah, so yeah. that's what that is now. Yeah. So our soil during the daytime is at 10 degrees. I'd be lucky to get over 10 degrees. Yeah, well, at the moment, yeah, because your overnight low temperatures are below 10 degrees. Well, oh, they're zero. So, I mean, I say this a lot and, and will continue to say it over the coming weeks. People are looking for the time when they should put tomatoes in the ground. And it's 7 to 10 overnight low temperatures above 10 degrees will get you roughly somewhere around about 16 to 18 degrees mm. Celsius in the soil. So, what are your overnight low temperatures like at the moment? You said my cauliflowers were peep squeak. Peep they squeaks. are peep squeaks. Mine are up here, mate. Look, like this. I'm not your friend anymore. <laughs> come on, mate. Come on. I'm not going to hell you, mate. Listen, it, it, mine it, are huge. Yeah, yeah. You know, but. I'm coming over. <laughs> yeah. Well, we need to. I've already, I've already said to the cameraman, we, we need to come over and do a, a and segment. And the difference is your microclimate is different to mine. Absolutely yeah. right. And my overnight low temperatures are a little higher than yours. Yes, yeah, a lot higher than mine. Because you know, you've, so you've got the fence in the house on either side. Correct. And I've got nothing but a wind draft going yeah, through this yeah, place. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, folks, it, preparing your soil is vital and it's, it's putting it in the right organic let, matter into let, it. Let me tell you. They might be pipsqueaks, but look at the health. Yeah, I know. They are yeah. unbelievable, they're, they're mate, good, They're good-looking plants. They are. They just haven't formed yet, you but know, they like, will. Look at this. Yeah, you can this see is, the, This yeah. is incredible, mate. Yeah, look. it's clean. Just you know, beautiful. A couple of stuff. holes here and there, but that's nothing. Yeah, you're never going to stop that. No. But that is, you yeah, know, they're, they're good-looking plants, I can say. Mate, that if I was an insect, I'd be licking my chops. <laughs> <laughs> so. oh, I worry about you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, make sure you look after your garden and... T take note of the temperature in the soil, yeah. especially. Get yourself a little thermometer. And don't forget companion planting. Very true. Very, very important. You Do know. Look at my garden now. <laughs> uh, and what, let's com let's talk about companion planting quickly. Yeah. We're talking about family families groups. groups. Yeah. Combine um, having having at least four family groups together in the one garden. Bed. Four plant family groups yeah. together. Yeah. Ab absolutely makes the the microbial population explode. Yeah. So. And and that's a good thing because. Good bacteria protect your plants from bad bacteria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It reduces pest and disease yeah. pressure, yeah. which is exactly what you want. Yeah. And plus it's teamwork with the microbes. They share resources. Yeah, they do. They ferry yeah. and solubilize minerals, ferrying yeah. them back to the plant. Yeah. So, you know, happy days you can get four plant family groups together. So, tomato season's coming. Yep. Think about a salad. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes, basil, garlic. So I would have planted my garlic way back. Yep. March, April, put a ring. X yep. marks the spot in the middle Sticky. for one tomato. Two or three different types of basil, a marigold. Yep. Marigolds keep the nematodes mm -hmm. away in the soil. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the aromatic foliage keeps the thrip and white fly away. Right. Um, and then you would probably follow that up with some spring onions. Okay, uh, maybe a cucumber on the outside. So all of a sudden you've got the landscape five. in the garden here, mate. That's it. That's <laughs> it. And by the time you've grown that group out, you're pretty well in touch. And you put, you know, a red and a, a green lettuce, yeah. and maybe a rocket. Delicious. And some lobelia. Nice. Yeah, it's easy to put yeah. in five or six. Companion planting. Plant, yeah, exactly Beautiful. right. And you can harvest everything. You can eat pretty much everything yep, in the garden. Absolutely. Your nasturtiums, your marigolds, and, and so on. So companion planting, keep the soil temperature at bay. You know, make sure it's at the right temperature before you plant. So that's 10... Mulch. 10, was it 10 nights in a row? 7 to 10 nights. 7 to 10 nights. Together in a row. Of? Above 10 degrees Celsius. And once you've achieved that, it's ready for planting yeah, for your spring not, crop. not... not no, for tomatoes. Tomatoes. 
So, spring planting. All right, you can't put your zucchinis yet. Okay. <laughs> so, tomatoes. All right. It's what I, all the others can go in now. What do you mean, zucchinis? No, not zucchinis. Do I need some zucchinis? Oh, you confused me. So, I did basil, tomatoes. Yep. Um, spring onions. Spring onions. Garlic's garlic, already yep. in the ground. Yep. Lettuce. Yeah. Cucumber. It's mm -hmm. probably a bit early for cucumber yet, but. Yep. It's getting there, yep. but for tomatoes, those seven to overnight low, ten degrees, degrees is when you put your tomatoes in. So I'm planting in December. Well, maybe it just depends. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> keep an eye on your soil temperature. That's what we said. All right. So, well, yeah. we're going to do a video at night time. Come out here in the in the, <laughs> in, the, in the in the darkness of the night and check out our soil temperature to see night, if it's sitting. See how it's... Yeah, see what it's sitting yeah. at. And if it does drop down to about four or three degrees, we're in trouble. Well, meaning we're going to be waiting a lot longer yeah, than everybody else. The thing is, though, that you'll be picking tomatoes like you did last year. Yeah. When I'm mine yeah, are all dead yeah. and buried. You'll be planting cauliflowers and broccolis, and I'll be yeah, still picking it. tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Folks, craigcastry.com.au for more information on great stuff that he's doing, and also vasiliesgarden.com if you're looking for planting mix and all our wonderful products available at all good leading garden centres. From me, Vasily and Craig. Marisi. Marisi.